welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well today. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I post videos every single week on lifestyle and DIY. And today's video is all about my honeymoon favorites. I have a few items here that I wanna share with you guys and hopefully it can give you guys some ideas on things that you can buy for your honeymoon. And of course I know with the times right now, nobody's flying. Probably no one's going on a honeymoon soon. But I still thought this video would be a fun one to do and share with you guys and give you some inspo of things that you can get for your honeymoon. So I have five items on my list and for context, for my honeymoon, I went somewhere tropical and warm and I feel like that's where a lot of people are going. So this really tailors towards that. My husband and I went to Mexico for our honeymoon and it was honestly the best trip ever and we just had the best time. So if you're interested in watching that, it'll be linked down below in the description box. But let's go ahead and get into my favorites. So for this first item, it is something that is super basic, but also a little bit touristy, but it is just so handy to have. And that is one of these waterproof pouches for your phone. I got this like maybe five years ago and it has held up great for all the trips I've been on. And even if your phone is waterproof, it is so handy to have this because then you can just put it on your neck or on your wrist and not risk it falling into the ocean or the pool or wherever you're at. I found this especially helpful when we were doing day trips and doing snorkeling or swimming all day. And it just made me feel a lot more secure having it in this pouch rather than just having it in my phone or having to put it away in a locker. So I would highly recommend this item. And I think I got it for $7 on Amazon. I will have this one linked down below. So I'm sure you guys know how this thing works. It basically just opens up at the top with these two latches. And then you could slip your phone in. Let me take the case off of my phone. Then you could just slip your phone in and then close it back up. And then it gives it this nice air sealed tight, air, air sealed tight, air. <laughs> And then it creates this nice seal so that you can use your phone while it is in the pouch. So as you can see, all the functionality still works and you're able to take your pictures even when you're underwater. So I find this to be so helpful and it just made me feel so secure knowing that I had my phone on me and that it wouldn't fall off my hands. And it just gives me double protection for my already waterproof phone. But if you guys wanna hear about the biggest scam of the year, while we were on our honeymoon, I obviously forgot to pack this. So we ended up paying $35. Yes, 30, <laughs> yes, you heard that right, 35 US dollars for this piece of plastic because the prices were just so marked up at the place we were doing this day trip. They knew that people needed this to be at the water park and people were willing to pay that price. So yeah, I paid $35 for something that should have cost me $7. I could have gotten this on Amazon for literally $8. So take my advice and grab one of these from Amazon and you will keep your phone safe. For this next item, it is something that I received as a bridal shower gift from one of my friends. And it's also super cute and you can find it on Amazon as well. And it is just this beautiful sun hat that says happily ever after. I know that you can also get these personalized with your last name or bride or whatever you want it to say. But I just thought that this hat was so cute. And not only is it functional because it literally covers up so much of the sun when you're wearing it, but also it just makes for a really cute honeymoon picture. I'll post the one that I put on my Instagram right Right here. I definitely wore it on the beach or just any time that we were out in the sun and I wanted to keep my face protected. And it's just something that's super cute and super extra, but it's your honeymoon. So really you can wear whatever you want. I don't know why I was just twirling it like that. And it's also pretty inexpensive for a nice quality sun hat. But yeah, I would definitely recommend getting one of these and just getting some cute Instagram pictures. And yeah, what can I say? I love this hat. Aside from getting a cute little treat for yourself, I think it's also really cute to get matching items with your spouse. And I know that could be a little bit cheesy, but honestly, when else are you going to do this? I think it's the perfect time to get some matching gear. So for my honeymoon, we actually stopped in LA and went to Universal before we went to Mexico. And obviously we had to go to Harry Potter World and Harry Potter is one of my husband's favorite things ever. So I got him matching shirts for him and I and they are Harry Potter themed and they're just so cute. And here they are, they are from Etsy. So this one says wifey and then the other one says hubby. So they're a little bit different and it doesn't look too cheesy when you're wearing them together but I just thought that these were the cutest things because honestly we do not match ever in real life so this was just like the one time that we could do it and not feel like 
too cheesy about it. So I would highly recommend you getting some matching things with your spouse. And not only that, but when you have some matching gear or just like any wedding gear, people notice and they tend to treat you a little bit better. So for example, when we were at Universal, people gave us things like cute little pins. And then even on our flight, let me put this down. And then even on our flights, our flight attendant gave us free mimosas on the house just because they knew that we just got married. So that's just one little tip when you're on your honeymoon, wear some matching gear because people will definitely notice and they'll definitely want to make your honeymoon that much more special. So this next item is something that I found at Target and it was super cheap and inexpensive when I bought it, especially since I got it for like half off on clearance. And usually they are only 12 bucks, but they are these cute little slides and they look like regular sandals, but they are actually made out of the same material that you find on flip-flops and I don't know if it's just me but I personally don't like the look of regular like beach flip-flops so I just found that these sandals were just a little bit more stylish and also just a little bit more elevated with the asymmetrical lines on here and also looks like leather throughout but you can get these wet and they are pretty durable I can't believe that I got these for six bucks and they still have them on their site right now. So I would highly recommend that you guys pick these up. These just made the transition from going to the beach to like dinner or wherever just that much easier because you don't look like you're too underdressed with flip flops on. And I don't know why these just make me so happy. So I would highly, highly recommend that you guys pick these up if you're looking for a flip flop alternative. And now I'm going to put them on my feet because I like to wear them. <laughs> And that brings us to our last item, which is a travel essential for me now. And that is this beautiful organizer for my jewelry. So obviously after you get married, you want to protect your beautiful rings that you have on. So putting them in an organizer like this is perfect because it just holds everything in such a compact space. So I especially love this one because it is just so compact and small and is really sleek and stylish because it is a portfolio style case and it just zips around really easily. <laughs> So it has these nice sections for your necklaces, for rings, earrings, more earring storage, and even some zippers up top and on the side. This is just the best travel organizer that I have found so far for my jewelry and I've really been enjoying it and I know that it's going to last me a really long time. And if I didn't mention it, I did find this on Amazon. And also I did do a whole video on my Amazon travel essentials. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But I honestly do stand by all the products that I listed on there. So please check it out if you're looking for travel essentials. Okay, and then we're done. So those were all the products that I have for today's video. I hope that you guys found some inspo and found this video helpful for your honeymoon. And I hope that you guys are all able to travel for your honeymoon soon. And I'm wishing you guys the best of luck planning your honeymoons. I know it is a very difficult time right now with everything that's going on, but I know that we will all get through this together and your honeymoon will be the best time ever and just a nice relaxing time for you after all the stress of planning a wedding and you definitely deserve it. So with that, I wish you guys all the best of luck. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you found it to be helpful and subscribe down below for more videos every single week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and connect with me. I'm posting on there every single day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Come on, baby. Woo. All right, good, baby. Woo.